unsubscribe right now or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. What if I told you that a lot of the superpowers comic book superheroes possess really do exist in real life? Yeah, believe it or not, superpowers are not just the works of fiction, TV, series, and comics. There are some folks in the world who are imbued with special abilities which their peers can only dream of. Of course, these special abilities will seem trivial compared to the overly dramatic superpowers you see in comic books. But, under the right circumstances and with a better understanding of their exceptional capabilities, these real-life superpowers have the potential to manifest in a greater way than you can imagine. So what better opportunity to learn how to control a superpower than what it appears in childhood? Sure, not all superpowers will manifest in a superhero's childhood. But every superhero has an origin story. And this is the story of 10 children with real superpowers. Number 3 is Out of This World. Number 10. Nong Yo Yui. Night Vision. This young boy from a remote village in China was born with sky blue eyes. Like those of a Siamese cat. His parents had black colored eyes, as did their parents before them. As such, everyone was amazed to see that their son, Nong Yo Hui, had brilliant blue eyes. What's remarkable is that the boy's eyes turn a reflective neon green when a light is flashed on them. You only see this characteristic in cats and other nocturnal animals. But Nang Yui, like cats, is able to see in the dark. In nocturnal animals, enhanced night vision is made possible by a layer of specialized cells at the back of the eyes, which act as retroreflectors. Basically, this means that any light that goes through the eye is reflected back through the retina, thereby presenting additional light for illuminating things in the dark. While Nong Yu Li lacks these specialized cells, he does have the ability to see in very small quantities of light. This was proven in a test in which the boy had to fill out a questionnaire while sitting in a dark room. Number 9. Brock Brown, Incredible Hulk. This kid from Michigan was 5 foot 2 inches when he was still in kindergarten. At the age of 19, the boy measured an imposing 7 feet 8 inches. But most remarkably, Brock Brown never did stop growing. His growth rate was measured at 6 inches per year. He a stool if you wish to take his measurement. If you're a fan of Dr. Bruce Banner, you immediately think of the Hulk when you see how remarkably tall and heavily built Brock Brown is. The boy is soft-spoken and has a big heart. Nothing like Bruce Banner's alter ego, Hulk. Unfortunately, unlike Dr. Banner, this kid cannot transform from giant to a regular sized teen. He's always going to order size 28 shoes and tailor-made clothes. He's always going to be the tallest person in the room wherever he goes. Number 8. Nikolai Pyagliachenko. Magneto. Nikolai was just a regular kid in Russia, and there was nothing you could say was special about the boy. Ouch. But everything changed when the 12-year-old was knocked out by a massive electric shock from a faulty wire dangling from the lamppost he had been leaning on. The jolt of the electricity from the shock almost killed him, but the boy survived. And later, it came almost as a relief when he realized that the accident had given him some sort of superpowers. Metallic objects could stick to his skin as if he was Michael Fassbender, X-Men's Magneto. The boy, who is a keen fan of comics, wanted to be a policeman, but changed his career goal to a superhero after seeing that he gained some superpowers. What an interesting story, but some scientists didn't buy it. As far as they know, the boy simply had unusually sticky skin. This boy can hold a frying pan up with no other contact but his chest. Is that magnetism or a really sticky skin? Number 7. Deepak Jangra, Electro. You'll see this boy from India touch a live wire with his tongue and think he must have a death wish. But the reality is that Deepak Jangra is able to withstand up to 11,000 volts. This is the amount of electricity only accessible through a high voltage overhead transmission line. So, if a 110 volt or 240 volt shock can cause internal burning or fibrillation, imagine how much damage can be done by a supply that's 100 times that of your normal household voltage. But this kid doesn't seem to get shocked or any form of damage from electricity. The first time he released that, he was able to withstand a lot of electric power flowing through his body. He was excited and wanted to know how much electricity he could take. He would fill a bucket with water, toss in a live wire from a 440 volt supply, then he put his hand in the water, but nothing would happen to him. Everyone in the village was obviously amazed by his superpower and even started calling him Electro. 
that no one anticipated that the boy would actually climb up an electric pole to touch a high voltage 11k volt wire just to see how much his body could take. Well, now there's no doubting that he's a real human electricity insulator. Number six, Yang Jinlong, Super Strength. An amazing footage of a seven-year-old boy from a countryside province in China went viral when it showed the pint-sized boy pulling a two-ton vehicle. The boy weighed only 110 pounds, but he was growing remarkably fast. He challenged himself to some hard and demanding feats to see how strong he was getting. The kid was obviously gifted, and he used his superpowers to do more than just towing vehicles. You need your heavy wheat or cement sacks loaded onto a truck? Yang Jinglong will sling those 220-pound sacks on his back and have them loaded wherever you need them. Well, of course, you cannot employ him just yet since he's still a kid, but the fact that he's a kid carrying 220-pound bags without breaking a sweat is impressive. Yang's most incredible feat of strength has to be the moments when he's seen carrying his 198-pound father around their home. You bet he beat all his friends at tug of war. Number five, Nandana Rumi Krishnan, mind reader. Medical experts from around the world were amazed by this little girl who was reported to have telepathic abilities. Nandana was just seven years old when her extraordinary ability first appeared. When word got out that the girl could access her mother's thoughts without touching her or using any other physical medium, her story caught the attention of thousands of people around the world. Nadana's parents were just as baffled by everyone else as they were curious to see if their daughter could read the minds of other people, just as she did her mother's. But it turned out that she had this special connection only with her mother. As expected, Nandana's extraordinary superpowers were put to the test. The girl's mother was given several items to read silently in her mind. Among them was a cell phone number, a random sentence, and a grade two level poem which Nadana had never come across apparently. The girl passed all the tests and proved to the world that she could, in fact, access her mother's thoughts and emotions. A superpower which her mother says has strengthened their mother-daughter bond. Number four, Liam Hoekstra, super strong toddler. Liam's extraordinary strength was first evident when he was just a toddler. At only five months old, the boy was doing the iron cross and would pace up the stairs and walk down unsupported. One-year-old Liam was playing with five-pound dumbbells, throwing them across the house like they were paperweight. And he dominated the channel bar as well. The boy's story is quite an interesting one, with the kind of twist DC Comics special creators use to introduce new superhero characters. As a toddler, Liam's mother gave him up for adoption when she thought her kid had some kind of birth defect. He was soon adopted, and his adopted parents had a medical checkup done because they thought that the boy appeared to be too strong for a toddler. The report revealed that Liam was born with a rare myostatin condition known as muscle hypertrophy. This means that their baby boy would develop more muscle mass and have little to no body fat. Basically, this means that the boy would always be muscular without having to do much to keep it up. Number three, Boris Kripriyanovich, peculiar alien boy. He's a kid who's not from Earth. That's right, Boris, also nicknamed Borishka, has puzzled experts and thousands of people like you by claiming that he was a Martian before he was born to his Earth-dwelling human parents. The boy's knowledge of the planet Mars was impressive and he seemed to understand a lot of things about the galaxies. Too much for a boy who was only three years of age. Borishka claimed that he acquired all that knowledge from his past life on Mars and that he remembers a great deal of it. He often talked about his life before he was born on Earth. He would especially talk of how life on Mars was before an all-out war broke out. He claimed that the war destroyed Martian civilization and everyone on the planet had to seek shelter underground. Not sure if that's a superpower, but the fact that he could remember his past life as an alien? Who knows what other abilities he could unlock in the future? He could be a real-life Superman for all you know. Now it's time for today's best pick. We have a picture sent to us by a subscriber, just like you. It shows an adorable little girl who seems to be showing off flames of fire coming off of her bare hands. Number two, Emma Tablet, fire starter. This girl isn't on fire, but she can set things on fire with the power of her mind. She's a three-year-old girl from the antique province of Western Fidasas in the Philippines. She was leaving what you'd say is a normal childhood until 
some people started associating her to fires that would start wherever she went. And it was not something the local community took lightly. The police had to cordon off the house where she stayed with her parents as they investigated the matter. It was when the mayor of the town visited the home that the girl's abilities turned heads. Apparently, the girl said that something was going to catch on fire while the mayor was still in the house. And not long afterwards, a shirt hanging in the house caught fire. All the girl had to do to start the fire was to utter the word Sonia, Filipino for fire. Something would burn. Kind of like what Daenerys Targaryen would command her dragons. Only with Emma Tablet, there is no fire-breathing dragon. What she has is a psychic ability known as pyrokinesis. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Number one, Anna Bellish, Archery. Remember Oliver Queen from the hit series Arrow? Like the host of other well-known superheroes from The Hunger Games and The Avengers, his extraordinary mastery of archery has somehow led to the rebirth of archery these days. Now, here's a 19-year-old girl whose prowess with the bow and arrow wowed thousands of people around the world. The girl from Russia is a gifted acrobat as well as an avid archer. Some of the stunts she performs call for an extraordinary level of flexibility, which takes time and dedication to practice and master. Anna Belch's superpower is sort of like the Playboy vigilante, Oliver Queen. She became an overnight sensation when a video was uploaded showing her shooting an arrow with the bow in her feet as she stood on her hands. She nearly hit a bullseye. We made it to the end of the video, but hey, we'd love to see you again. If you click the subscribe and bell icons, we'll always notify you when a fantastic video just like this one comes up. We have a lot more that you will enjoy.